Hey, I'm adenine. Wait a second, I'm adenine. What? No, you're triphosphate. Look, I'm ribose, you're triphosphate, and you're adenine. Together we make... ATP, 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 ATP. Yes, it's ATP. Well, that song was familiar, but with a scientific twist. Now, have you ever wondered what powers every cell in your body? Hmm. That's the job of ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, oh, the universal wow. energy currency. It powers our thoughts, our muscles, and even our heartbeat. But how is it made? One of the most important processes is the Krebs cycle. It's a really important recipe in a cell, with the mitochondria acting as our kitchen. Our main ingredient is acetyl-CoA, which we get from the fats and the carbs in the food we eat. Now, let's get cooking! Welcome to chef Orama. Our goal is to extract energy from acetyl-CoA. This bowl is our Krebs cycle. It all begins when acetyl-CoA joins our starting molecule, oxaloacetate. Our sous chef, the enzyme citrate synthase, mixes them to create citrate. Then we use an enzyme called isocitrate dehydrogenase to remove carbon atom as a gas, carbon dioxide. That step also creates our first high energy molecule, NADH. We keep going in with another enzyme alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, we create another NADH and another carbon dioxide. We continue with a few more quick steps until, with the help of fumarase, our dish becomes mallet, and then it's back to our starting molecule, oxaloacetate. High energy electrons from NADH and FADH2 power the electron transport chain, which uses ATP synthesis to create a large amount of ATP on the mitochondrial membrane. If you didn't know, the Krebs cycle is one of three parts of cellular respiration, or how cells create energy. First, glycolysis. Second, the Krebs cycle. And third, the electron transport chain. So the next time you hear about ATP, you'll know that the Krebs cycle is the engine making it all happen.